In this lesson, I want to share with you different platforms that allow you to share. This is another lesson that is part of the video SEO and YouTube SEO training. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at platforms that allow you to share videos amongst your team. So if you are an entrepreneur and you have a virtual assistant and you have a video editing person helping you, you're going to have to move these files. And you're not going to be able to do it via email because video files are extremely large and they're not going to go through via an attachment on an email. If you are a virtual assistant and you're working on behalf of your client with a video editor, the same will apply. You cannot just email a file, a video file to people. So you have a few options. The one option that we use in my team is the Amazon S3. It is a very great platform. It is cost effective. It does take a little bit of know-how. It is, um, you do have to train on it and I've trained my entire team on it so we can all use it. We can upload files, we can download files. It's really a fantastic platform and my team is um, in, in a different country so it's never been an issue at all. And I've been using Amazon S3 now since 2010. So it's been a few years and again, my experience has been always great. When I started, though, I did use Dropbox. Dropbox is a great way for you to share files with the pro platform or the team platform. It's not going to work with the free platform because you just don't have enough capacity. The only problem was that I was creating far too many videos and we were sharing far too many videos. It wasn't working necessarily for the team. And I did not get the team platform at the time because I made the decision to go with the Amazon S3. The other thing that you have to take into consideration with the Dropbox is that when you place files in the Dropbox, they are still sort of on your computer somehow, um, unless you're using only the cloud system. Uh, but that's also something that you may want to take into consideration in terms of spacing. I wanted to make sure that everything that I was moving or transferring was off my computer. So that's one thing you might want to take into consideration. You send it, great platform. You can definitely use the free version with two gigabytes of space to transfer files by attaching them. The great thing is that it's fairly unlimited. So you could actually send um, the number of files uh, that you want. So that's great. Is that it? So another platform that is great is the You Send It, and You Send It allows you to send files via email. You basically attach them, uh, well, via email. So I, okay. Another platform that's great is the You Send It, which allows you to send files and video files, if they're not too long, so five, 10 minute videos, you actually should be able to send them via you send it. The free platform allows you up to two gigabytes of storage and uh, you do, you're able to send a number of files per uh, month. So it's not too bad. Again, if you're just getting started, this is a great way to do it. Now, if you are sending more files, uh, the other thing as well as you want to take into consideration is you have 50 megabytes. That's the largest file that you you can send with, with the free platform. If you are sending, you're finding that you're sending quite a few uh, videos and you also find that the 50 megabyte is very limiting, you may want to upgrade for $15 a month. You have uh, unlimited storage space. You have unlimited uh, share files that you can send. And you can actually have uh, two gigabytes of space when you're sending those files. So it's not that it's not that bad. It's really great, and you get a, a number of bells and whistles as well in terms of features. Now you also have the upgraded version, the pro version at twenty four dollars ninety of uh, uh, nine a month, where you have just a few more bells and whistles customized. I mean, this you you have to see if this is something that 
really worth it for you or not. Another platform is the Send Big Files. Send Big Files is great. You can send very large files even with their light version. You can only send up to two in a month, but you're looking at uh, a fairly large amount, as you can see here, of files that you can stop, you can send 250 megabytes. And um, obviously, you can only be one user, so that's something to take into consideration. And um, you have one gigabyte here uh, of, uh, of of bandwidth that you can use. So again, if you have larger files, I've sent fairly large files via send it, send big files, and that's worked. The only problem is is which is quite obvious, you only have two files that you can send in a whole month. So for 30 days, you've got two files. That can become a problem with the light version, which means that you're going to have to upgrade either to the personal or the professional. And uh, obviously, you'll see they're different in prices. The, prof the personal, you, for $30 for the year, you do have 25 si files that you can send, which uh, is not bad. But again, if you take into consideration that you're emailing, maybe two videos a month, that can run out very quickly. Um, if you make a mistake, you forget something, and you have to resend the file, that really runs out quickly. Most likely for most professionals, they're looking at the $99 uh, a year plan, the professional plan, which again, allows you 50 files that you can send, a lot more space, storage space, and the files as well can be bigger. So this becomes more interesting. And of course, if you find that you need more, then you can always upgrade to the $29.95 a month. For us, as I've said earlier, the Amazon works well because I can transfer files and I also can store them. But if you're just looking to transfer files, then definitely you send it and send big files are great platforms. Dropbox is another option and also you can store files on Dropbox.